Lemon balm is an easy to grow herb that not only attracts bees to your garden, but it's also a great antiviral with relaxing properties that are helpful for soothing frayed nerves and calming hyper children. Traditionally, it's been used to gently treat colic and upset stomach in everyone from infants to elders. A leaf can be chewed to freshen the breath or crushed and placed on a bug bite to help ease the itch. Lemon balm has many uses today, but please note, while it's generally considered safe, there are some people that should avoid taking lemon balm or should go see your qualified health professional before use. These people are people who are pregnant, nursing, or have any health problems with their thyroid. Lemon balm is used for anxiety, stress, insomnia, indigestion, dementia, Alzheimer's disease, and many other conditions. But there's no really solid scientific evidence to support many of these uses, but there are some. In foods and beverages, the extract of oil of lemon balm are used for flavoring. So how does it work? Lemon balm contains chemicals that seem to have a sedative calming effect, and it also might reduce the growth of some of these viruses. It's possibly effective for Alzheimer's disease. Taking lemon balm by mouth for four months may reduce agitation, improve thinking, and reduce symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Lemon balm aromatherapy has also been used in people with Alzheimer's disease, but there's no reliable evidence supporting the benefit of this form of lemon balm. With anxiety, some research shows that taking specific lemon balm products reduces symptoms in people with anxiety disorders. Also, research shows that taking products containing lemon balm plus other ingredients reduces anxiety and symptoms such as nervousness and edginess. Cold sores? Applying a lip balm containing an extract of lemon balm has been seen to shorten the healing time and reduce symptoms if applied early stages of the infection. With insomnia, taking lemon balm twice a day for 15 days improves sleep in people with insomnia. Taking lemon balm in a combination with other, other ingredients also seems to improve sleep quality in people with sleeping disorders. Early research shows that taking one to two tablets of a specific product containing lemon balm and valerian root once or twice daily might decrease sleep problems associated with restlessness in children under the age of 12. It's unknown in the effect of this latter product due to the lemon balm, valerian root, or the combination of the two. Lemon balm and stress? Early research shows that taking a single dose of lemon balm increases calmness and alertness in adults under mental, mental stress. Other early research shows that adding lemon balm to food or drink reduces anxiety and improves memory and alertness during mental testing. Lemon balm also appears to reduce anxious behavior in children during dental exams. Taking lemon balm along with other ingredients at low doses appears to reduce anxiety during psychological stress in a laboratory, but taking the combination at a higher dose appears to worsen the stress induced anxiety. There is insufficient evidence with some of these researches, but they are working on it, and we're going to see where lemon balm takes us. So far, with the studies with memory and thinking, the cognitive functions, the early research has shown that taking single doses of lemon balm improves the accuracy, but slows the performance on a timed memory test. The other early research shows that taking lemon balm in combination with other ingredients seems to improve word recall in adults under the age of about 63, but it doesn't seem to be beneficial for people that are over the age, in, you know, older adults. Other research is looking into the excessive crying of infants, because giving certain products containing lemon balm and other ingredients to infants with colic for one to four weeks seems to reduce crying time. It also may increase the number of infants whom colic resolves. The products in this research include some of the names up here. Diseases that are interfering with thinking and dementia. It's unclear if lemon balm helps reduce agitation in people with dementia, but the results from research are conflicting. Depression. Early research shows that taking lemon balm with fertilized egg powder does not improve symptoms of depression compared to fertilized egg powder alone. 
also indigestion, a specific product containing lemon balm and other ingredients, seems to be improving the acid reflux, stomach pain, cramping, nausea, and vomiting, and similar combination products containing lemon balm seem to be improving stomach and intestinal symptoms with people with indigestion problems. They're also looking into the labor pains because they're saying that in early research that it's showing that taking lemon balm after labor, you know, it, it's it's effective as taking the drugs that, that you take for the pain afterwards, which is amazing. And then the long-term disorders of IBS, they're looking at how it's helping with people that suffer with IBS symptoms. They are also looking into emotional distress caused by extreme focus on physical symptom, somatic symptom disorder, nausea and vomiting, gas, flatulence, headaches, toothaches, menstrual cramps, attention deficit disorder, cancer, and insect bites. And finally, they're looking into long-term swelling, the inflammation of the airways and the lungs, like things with chronic bronchitis, overactive thyroid, like hyperthyroidism, and high blood pressure. Lemon balm is a wonderful plant, and I'm so happy to see that research is being conducted for this plant to see how it can benefit our lives. However, overall, studies have shown that lemon balm is effective against viruses, especially the one of the herpes family. Things like cold sores, shingles, and chicken pox. It definitely calms the nerves, it improves mood, it soothes an upset stomach, and it helps promote sleep. Side effects and safety. When taken by mouth, lemon balm is safe to take with food. Lemon balm is possibly safe to take with a medical use, but use it in short term. It's been used safely in research for up to four months. Side effects are generally mild and may include increased appetite, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, dizziness, and wheezing. Not enough is known about the safety of lemon balm when used long term, so be careful, as you would with any herbal tincture, salve, or medicine. Those with diabetes, be careful of taking lemon balm. Lemon balm might lower blood sugar levels and you need to watch for signs of lower blood sugar. Monitor your blood sugar carefully if you use lemon balm. With surgery, lemon balm is known to cause drowsiness. So if it's combined with other medications during surgery, you can get extra drowsy. So please stop using lemon balm at least two weeks before a scheduled surgery. Again, with thyroid disease. Thyroid disease is a very high concern with lemon balm. The concern is that lemon balm changes the thyroid function. It reduces thyroid hormone levels and can interfere with thyroid hormone replacement therapy. So avoid lemon balm if you have thyroid disease. Also, if you're taking sedative medications, they also interact with lemon balm. Lemon balm causes sleepiness and drowsiness. So medications that cause sleepiness and drowsiness taking lemon balm along with them will cause you extra sleepiness. And some medications are listed here. I'd like to thank you for watching the video and i also like to thank WebMD for their information. Have a good day and I hope you entered the wonderful world of herbs, plants, and weeds. Safe journey!